Unfortunately, the police accepted the explanation that Halsey went mad. Well, what else could they believe? The truth? That he died and came back? We did it, Dan. <laughs> Being around a dead person is not what you would imagine. It's very strange. You get no vibe, you get no rhythm, you get no, you get nothing. I remember thinking that here's a, a guy who might be following in the uh, footsteps of Vincent Price. All this lip is on the screen is a green vial, the reanimation fluid, and you hear a loud scream and boom. That's where the end title takes off. My first play was Run, Robber, Run. We, we also did a lot of shows where the costumes were leotards, and, and uh, one of the members of another company kept referring to us as the Granola Theater Company. It was the most wonderful theatrical experience I'd ever been a part of. It was, it was great. He had slowly tried to perfect a solution which, injected into the veins of the newly deceased, would restore life. It's really faithful to the original story. The only real difference is that the protagonist is, is a man. I've broken the six to 12 minute barrier. I've conquered brain death. You'll never get credit for my discovery. Who's going to believe a talking head? Get a job and a side channel. It will scare you to pieces. I will reveal to an astonished world my Serum. I have a plan. So do I.